Hi, welcome. My name is Erin. This is Erin's Collector Kingdom. And if you cannot tell, um, I am going to be talking about all of the bags that are usually hung up right here, which is my entire Loungefly Disney, more than likely, sequins collection. So if that is something that interests you, stick around. Okay, I'm gonna go in no particular order. If they do belong on the wall, bear with me. I'm going to show it and then hang it back up on the wall just to kind of reduce some of the mess <laughs> for after, okay? Um, so first, this is my mint sequence Disney Parks bag. I love when they do a sequence bag with a matte bow. I just think it is so pretty and a very kind soul on Mercari um, when I ordered an up bag from him or her, I don't know, um, sent me an up keychain. It was actually labeled as a bag charm. Um, they sent me that, but it didn't work. Uh, my up bag didn't have a zipper on it. It was um, like a snap closure, so I couldn't hang that anywhere. So I just thought it looked really cute with this bag. So anyway, the interior lining, I'm sure you're all familiar with the interior lining. It is mint polka dot. So, I have not tied up the straps yet because I was just using this bag um, and seem to have misplaced my cable ties. So I will be tying it up later. Anyway, there's that one. Next. This is my um, cotton candy uh, lounge lie that was a small shop exclusive. So this one was available on um, Awesome Collectibles, but I think that the online is my Awesome Collectibles, but the store is called Awesome Collectibles. Um, anyway, it has a beautiful map bow. I definitely seem to gravitate toward the sequins bags with the um, more matte bow. Um, I just think it looks so pretty. This one has rose gold hardware. And of course the pink polka dot. Well, it's pink with white polka dot interior. And of course I have used this bag. I just keep them well stuffed with their straps tied up. Um, and I usually try to keep either the, these, the foam ones that they come with or um, ones that you can buy that are 3D printed on Etsy that I know I've talked about before. So anyway, there is the beautiful cotton candy lounge fly sequins bag. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna talk about the 50th anniversary. Um, this one is extremely holographic. It was called the iridescent um, 50th lounge fly for Walt Disney World. Um, I did actually, I whoop, got this one in Disneyland. Um, I went and um, they happened to have it when I was there. Um, yeah, I don't remember when I went. Maybe it was spring break, probably spring break. Anyway, um, they had it there, so I grabbed one for me and one for my neighbor across the street. Um, so yeah, we're both Disney fans, and I figured she was watching my chickens. I have pet chickens, so and I love them dearly. So she was watching um, my babies for me while we were away. Um, anyway, so I had to snag her one as a big thank you for coming over and feeding them and watering them and giving them some snuggles because if you didn't know, chickens love snuggles. They really do. So yeah, they're cute. But anyway, back to the bag. This one I do tie up the straps. I don't know why they look so funky right now. I'm not sure what I did. And then the interior, I think, has Mickey, Mickey Mouse um, silhouettes. Yeah, it has like a Mickey Mouse silhouette on it. Pretty cute. Um, I did hear a rumor that they're going to be releasing more of the holographic 
50th in different colors. Um, I saw it was a it was a hint uh, with a bunch of different Coke bottles all in a bunch of different colors and it was labeled iridescent like how they spell the iridescent for this one um, so if I can find that photo I'll insert it so I have a feeling there's gonna be more of these released for the 50th but um, uh, you know it's a rumor crossing fingers hope it's true because they had some colors I'd be really interested in having so anyway there's that one and since we talked about this one I'll talk about the gold one next so I do also have the gold one. Um, the gold one, I almost uh, was going to trade or resell, but actually, not resell, but you know, I was planning on trading it, but um, I ended up falling in love with it when it got here. <laughs> so that didn't happen. But anyway, it's got a really sequence bow with the sequins front pocket the very holographic body. I do know people have shared that theirs has split or that they've had dents or scratches. I do think that these bags are prone to all of those things. I think you just have to take really good care. You have to remember the material that they're working with on this one. Um, and it's going to be prone to those things. So anyway, and then I put the lounge fly bell. I got this one at box lunch. It's very cute. Oh, there's the front. Sorry. <laughs> very cute. And I just thought it was so fitting on this bag. So there's that one. Um, I'm sure the interior looks the same. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> okay, next is my Loungefly Arendelle um, sequins mini backpack this is one of my favorite colors i love it so much this one and the mint one are probably my two top contenders um when i bought this one i was kind of a loose collector i had been collecting lounge fly but mainly star wars lounge fly so i didn't necessarily take a lot of precautions with this bag but she's still in really beautiful condition um, but I did like use the front pocket, which is something I just don't do now. So when I stuffed the front pocket, I just used, um, paper, like shipping paper or wrap, wrapping, whatever. <laughs> anyway, paper of some kind. Um, and then the interior of this bag is like the aqua with, um, white polka dots. I do love this bag. I remember thinking, oh wow, $90 is a lot of money, <laughs> but it's fine. She's beautiful and I'm so glad she is in my collection. So that is my Arendelle. And even though she's one of my favorite sequins bags, she's actually one I use the least frequently, surprisingly. But anyway, there's that one. Next is the pretty traditional rose gold it does not have the um sequins on the back thank goodness because um well one it could ruin your clothes and then two i do have like a pretty nice um tattoo on my back that i like to display when i can and so the sequins on the back i would think would hurt brushing up against your skin there is the interior. This one I bought secondhand and I, th I think it was pretty reasonable if I remember right. I bought it on Macari for about $70. So she was used, um, but like well taken care of. She doesn't look beat up at all. So, and I think I've maybe used it a couple times, but love it. <laughs> Next, I think I'm gonna talk about main attraction bags um here is whoa <laughs> i almost dropped it on my head um here is one this is kac main attraction i did have to buy this one secondary market um because you know if you know you know if you were somebody who was trying to get the Minnie mouse main attraction when it was ran on the lottery system 
<sighs> then you know these bags were like impossible to get your hands on. It was so frustrating. Um, so anyway, I did end up, I didn't get to pick, pick, I was not picked for the lottery. So I had to, um, buy this on Mercari and actually because the pocket is crooked I paid 150 for it so but I bought it like when this one was released in on shop Disney that's when I bought this one so not like to you know not recently I don't think I would have gotten that deal recently but anyway I love it I haven't used it I'm not really sure why I haven't used it I think I was having a lot of buyers guilt at that time um, for spending as much as I did on this bag so um, I think that was the big reason I haven't used it but this is the tag protector thing that I was talking about in um, one of my other videos I didn't show it though is just a like ID card and they seem to fit pretty perfectly over this, the only one it hasn't fit on is my Mickey Mouse um, main attraction. It's a small world tag. So I'll have to get something bigger for that one. But anyway, there's King Arthur's Court um, or Carousel, King Arthur's Carousel. I forgot to show the interior, which I think those are just called like Florida de Lis prints. So pretty cute. Still have some buyer's guilt about it, but it's a cutie. I like it. <laughs> Next is my um, December Mini Mouse Main Attraction. Pretty adorable. I love this one. It had so many nostalgic feels for me um, because this one <laughs> looked like a little outfit that I wore when I was like in preschool in the 80s. And I loved that outfit so much. It was black. It was a black skirt and like little cropped sweater um, with hot pink fireworks on it. So this just like, I saw it. I remember when it was released and I was like, that is 80s. That is so 80s. I love it. I don't care. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and I, of course, I didn't get picked for this one either. I am slowly but surely trying to add the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction bags to my collection. I'm doing pretty good. The only one I got picked for was the Haunted Mansion one. And at that point I was so frustrated. I bought it, I bought the ears, and then I gave up. And I ended up reselling them. And I was just so over the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction that I sold it for I think $80 for the set. Um, and which is pretty much what I paid for it. Um, so anyway, now I kind of want to get it back just because not that I'm like somebody who needs to complete a collection, but now that I actually know how to wear a fanny pack as like a crossbody, I'm down for doing that. I was not down for doing a fanny pack. Like girls got some hips and a booty and I don't need any extra in that area. Like just no extras there please. So definitely going to be trying to be on the lookout for that one reasonably priced, but there's my December. This one I know I shared about previously. It is my Jungle Cruise Minnie Mouse Main Attraction bag. I love this one a bunch and I did. I sold two bags and was able to purchase this one. So I am trying to be better about if I buy secondary market, making sure that I either get a good deal on it or sell a few bags to pay for the one instead of just paying my paycheck. I don't know why it makes a difference, <laughs> but it does. There's the interior. I love this bag. I think it's so fun to style in the fall. And again, I have the little tag protector on it so that I can still wear it and not worry about harming the tag. There's that one. And then I have my Mickey Mouse main attraction bag. Um, this is the one, this is It's a Small World. I did not think I was going to be able to get this one, so I'm really happy I got it. Um, and this is the tag that is too big. 
it folds over here it's too big to fit inside of that tag protector so I'll have to find a different way to protect that tag I have already worn this bag nice stinking love it so I think it's so pretty there's the interior and the mini mouse main attraction it's a small world fanny pack is going for so much money so that one probably will not be added to my collection which is fine I would only add it just to have it so I don't I don't need it <laughs> not not for how much it's going for but anyway there it's so cute okay but here is my celebration sequence bag <sighs> Ooh, I don't remember where this one's from let me see if I can look it up. Palm? Was it a pink a la mode? Okay, it looks like it was a pink a la mode. Now I want to check my pink a la mode. <laughs> Make sure I'm saying that right. Oh, I deleted the app. <gasps> I had to delete all of the like um, shopping apps like Box Lunch. Loungefly, Mercari, Pink All Mode, Cordy's Corner, all of them. I had to delete all their apps because I have a spending problem. As you can see, I'm working summer school to pay it off. I'm not proud of that, <laughs> okay? But it's, it's where we are. And the first step is admitting you have a problem. So I have a problem and I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm hoping Loungefly videos will be able to chill me out and I won't like, Maybe I can just make videos about ones I already have and I won't buy anymore. That'd be great. <laughs> anyway, here's this one. I do love this one. I, I Even though I'm not a huge fan of holographic, um, I still really love this one. It is really pretty. So there's that one. Oh, the inside. Oh, I don't think I've ever paid attention to that. It's like teal polka dots. It's cute. <sighs> Instead of buying new bags, I'm trying to, um, besides the Mickey Mouse main attraction, I'm going to continue collecting that. But anyway, um, I am trying to like go and buy, you know, the little bag charms, buy little things for my bags. And maybe that'll like simmer my spending problem down. Or create a new one. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Next, so I can complete my display, is I got the Orchid um, bag. Um, I also have the one from 707 Street on pre-order, and I will be trading that one. Um, I personally prefer the matte bow, so when I saw this one was um, available, I just got it. Um, 707 Street really frustrated me because they changed our delivery date without notifying us so i didn't know that the may pre-orders or the ones that were supposed to be delivered in may were pushed to i think it's october if i'm anyway we're pushed to the october date but um i didn't know that because i until i actively looked on their page because it was june and i was like where is that bag <laughs> and i looked and it said not going to be shipping until october and I was annoyed at the customer service with that because I am a patient person. I don't care how long it takes my bag to get here as long as you communicate with me. Like as long as you just say, hey, you know, there's been some delays or maybe there was a floss or having them remade or whatever it is. I don't care. Just tell us. Like we gave you a bunch of money for these things. So just tell us. Like let us know. I understand that there's a pandemic that we're still working through. I understand that there is a war in another country. I understand gas is at an astronomical rate. Like I get all that, I'm reasonable, but like tell us. So probably won't be for buying from them again, which is a bummer because I do end up liking their exclusives, but I'm sorry, <laughs> communication is key. So anyway, but here's the orchid one. She's lovely. Um, big hot pink polka dots and again I do I just like the matte um, coloring better than the holographic coloring 
she's stunning okay next I have mm, I have a lot I'm sorry <laughs> next I have the like traditional mini mouse um, sequins bag I actually traded for this one so I had the 50th castle lounge fly bag um, and I posted it for trade on the lounge fly buy sell trade group and I posted this as one of my in search of bags and somebody asked me if I'd be willing to trade the castle for this one and I said yes <laughs> please so I was really happy with that trade I think she was really happy too and both are currently available back in the parks again at the time both were unavailable so but anyway, I'm still pleased with the trade. I personally didn't like the castle bag. Um, even though I collect a fair amount of castle bags, I got that bag and was just really kind of, I don't know. I think it's the way the, the castle is printed on the applique. I don't know. It just looked cheesy to me. Like no shade if you love that bag. I'm sure there are plenty of bags I have that people are like, what the heck are you thinking? Anyway, there's the back. So cute. She's just a really cute traditional mini mouse bag. Next is my um, cheetah sequins print. I love this one. So cute. This was before I knew to be picky about placement. I mean, I don't care. I still love this bag. There, I doesn't matter to me. Um, but I guess people really search for the right print on this one. I'm like, it's cheetah print. It's, I don't know. <laughs> like the nature of cheetah print is just kind of sporadic. So I was fine with what I got. I did order it online, so I didn't have the opportunity to be picky about it. And I love this bow so much, so pretty. And I just recently got the ears from the park when we went this last springtime. I'm pretty sure that's when we went. Um, I was shocked to see that they had them there because I was at Disneyland and I was pretty sure this was a um, Animal Kingdom release. So I'm glad to see that like we get some of the Disney World merch and I think Disney World gets some of our merch too. So that's good. Um, I almost said last, but I remember I have three more. So two are still in a tote and one is on my dresser. So I'll have to grab those really quickly. I have four more. Okay. So anyway, here is my candy corn bag. <laughs> I'm not going to say how much I spent on this one because Ben might watch my videos, whether he watches them all the way through. I'm not sure. And I am deep enough into this video now that I might be able to share, but I won't. Um, anyway, this is one bag I did break my rule on and spend a lot on. I was obsessing over this bag, like obsessing over it, to the point that I almost paid someone to just make me a replica, but the replica price was the same price that I bought this one for. So it was like, never mind. I'll just buy the actual one, so. Yeah, replicas are not cheap. <laughs> and then the inside, you know, it's funny, I don't even like candy corn, but I love this bag. But I love Halloween. Halloween's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite times of the year. I celebrate all month long. And if I can let my husband, <laughs> if I can convince my husband to let me um, decorate in September, I, I last year decorated in September. <laughs> So he said he only allowed me to do that just because, you know, <laughs> global pandemic and I think we all just needed some joy, but there it is. So cute. Even though she was a lot of money, I'm glad I got her. Okay. Oh, and fun story. I ended up buying this one. I bought it on eBay and found out that the lady lives just 15 minutes from me. So, um... We were able to do a pickup, but we didn't, I didn't end up doing a pickup, if that makes sense. I still had her ship it, so it got here really fast. But, um, <sighs> I 
This one is the Circle of Hope exclusive. And she, I bought flawed. Flawed. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus on the flaw. It took me forever to find it. Focus. Anyway, on her cheekbone, there is a little, like, stamping, I think, from the stem. It is so stunning. Like, I almost didn't buy <laughs> the flawed version because it was only $10 cheaper, and I was like, what if it's really messed up? Like, what if one of the big old flowers is, like, stamped on her face? I was really worried about that <laughs> but no I'm so glad I bought it so if you see this if you were on the wait list for this bag I was number 2000 something I'm not gonna get the bag right so when I saw this available I was like I'm gonna get it and if for some reason something is terribly wrong with it I will just figure out something cute to do with the front pocket like bedazzle it or something <laughs> so Anyway, um, like Mickey's girls, um, she did a really cute bedazzling of, I think it was Tiana's, um, no, it was the Tinkerbell bag. Anyway, and yeah, it looked really cute. So I would probably, like that's what I had planned to do with this one if it went cattywampus, but it didn't. She's so cute, so love her, so cute. Okay, last three bags, I promise. I have the red Disney Park sequins backpack. This is one I got for a killer deal on eBay. Um, you have to look for, if you're looking on eBay and Mercari, look during off seasons. So I was able to find this one in like May for about $75, I think. So less than it even sold for at the park came completely packaged um so yeah was super happy with this buy i personally wanted to make sure i got the like original one not the one with the snowflake um because i i just don't care for the one with the snowflake but this one i love so anyway and this one has red mini bows so cute love it <laughs> and then I have the LA style rush sequins mini backpack um and I did get the like haul the hot no magic mirror ears I think is what they're called but here's the bag if I ever have the opportunity to trade this one for the silver sequins, I will. Um, but otherwise, I'm not, like, so bound and determined to get the silver sequins bag. There's the interior. And I did, um, like, I kept kind of hemming and hawing <laughs> about wanting to get, um... The silver sequins one that was re-released on 707. Uh, yeah, it was 707. Um, but I didn't end up getting it because I just couldn't justify buying it and having this one. And then I was stressed out. What if I couldn't sell this one um, or trade it or something? So I didn't end up getting it. And then it sold out. And it has a little Mickey like head on the zipper, which that's a cute detail, but. And then there is the snowflake charm. It's a cute winter bag. I have it with like stored with my Christmas stuff. So. Okay, last one. <laughs> is my Americana bag. I bought this one secondary for about $80. So I was really happy with that. these ears I just got. My neighbor has an annual pass, so she picked these up for me when she was there on a whim. And then here's this one. So cute. 
I love this bag. I wear it for all of the like American holidays, <laughs> like President's Day, Washington's Day, Lincoln Memorial, Veterans Day, all the things. Fourth of July. So yeah, love it. <sighs> anyway, wow, I have a lot of bags to put away. Um, that was fun. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I love talking about Loungefly. Also, it keeps me from purchasing Loungefly. So that is a win, 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 win. <laughs> I hope you have a really wonderful day and I will see you next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.